welcoming to Vision TV. I'm Justin Brown. And I'm Leah Williamson. Thanks for joining us. The spring season of intramural sports has made its way back on campus and the next sports are coming up quick. Co-ed softball and co-ed indoor volleyball begin March 22nd, so there is still plenty of time to get a team together and to compete for the ultimate prize, having your team picture on the wall of champions in the Tingle Student Center. Information about signups will be in the Student Center on the TVs and on the information boards, and remember to download the IM Leagues app on your phone to be able to communicate with your team. Speaking of communication, Chapel will look just a little bit different this week. Here's a sneak peek of Student Led Week. This week on campus, we'll be having Student Led Renewal. Each day of the week, one of our very own seniors will be bringing a message during a chapel service. I, uh, you know, putting together our exegetical paper. Drew Reynolds, Christian Studies major, spoke this Monday at chapel. Mikey Smith, also a Christian Studies major, will be speaking Tuesday night. Mallory Ward, Physical Education major, will be speaking Wednesday morning during our regular chapel time. And Caitlin Harrison, Elementary Education major, will be speaking at BCM this Thursday at 7 p.m. Lastly, Morgan Hatchell, Communications major, will be speaking this Friday at FCA at 10 o'clock. I'm super pumped. I'm going to be speaking about Luke 5, and we're going to be talking about brokenness and how we can all relate to someone within that passage. Each chapel service will count for chapel credit. Be sure to come out and support our students as they bring us the word. North Greenville's very own Dr. Cheryl Abrams Collier has been appointed to the South Carolina Board of Education. She is now the 13th Judicial Circuit Representative for the South Carolina Board of Education. Here at NGU, Dr. Collier is the Associate Dean of the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, as well as the Chair of English Department. If you see Dr. Collier on campus, be sure to congratulate her on this great honor. Be sure to stay tuned because when we come back, Christy will be here to bring you all the details on Crusader Sports. What if there were a place that you could distinguish yourself, where you could prepare for what you want to do and who you want to be? At North Greenville University, we offer you more than just a degree. You'll have the opportunity to grow your faith, develop relationships with new friends and faculty, and serve others while experiencing a vibrant student life. North Greenville University, Christ makes a difference. What is college? What is North Greenville University? It's connecting. It's growing. It's learning. It's serving. It's preparing. It's laughing. It's loving. It's pushing yourself to the limit. It's living with a difference. It's living with a difference. It's living with a difference. It's North Greenville University, where Christ makes the difference. Welcome back. On Friday, the baseball team had a split day playing against both Lander and Francis Marion. Starting with their game against Francis Marion, they had a tough fight. They began with a slow start but quickly caught up. Overall, it was a close game, but they fell short to the Patriots with a final score of 13 to 12. In the second game of the excuse me, in the second game of the day against Lander, the Bearcats took an immediate lead of 2 to 0. After a strikeout, the Crusaders fought hard and took over the lead with a final score of 3-2. to two. The women's basketball team faced off against Mount Olive. It was a slow start for the Lady Crusaders, ending the first quarter with an 8-21 to 21 score. However, they brought that score up in the next quarter with a final score of 29-48 to 48 at halftime. The Lady Crusaders overall fell to the Trojans with a final score of 71-89. to 89. Now on to men's basketball. They played against Mount Olive as well. It was a tough game with a score of 59 to 41 at halftime. It was a close game, but the Crusaders ultimately fell to the Trojans with a final score of 105 to 96. On Saturday, both the men's and the women's tennis teams played matches against Limestone University. Both the women's and men's teams ultimately fell to Limestone with a final score of 0 to 7. The men's lacrosse team took on Lenore Ryan University on Saturday. It was a tough game for the Crusaders, and at halftime they were down 5-10. Ultimately, it was a loss for the Crusaders with a final score of 11-16. to 
The men's volleyball team played against the University of Mount Olive on Friday night with Hayes Gym packed full of fans. The first set ultimately went to the Trojans with a close score of 25 to 23. The second set did not disappoint with the Crusaders landing 12 kills in a single set, securing them that set 25 to 22. The third set went to the Trojans with a final score of 25 to 19, and the fourth set was close and ultimately that was the change the Crusaders needed to secure a win. The final score for the fourth set was 26 to 24, and with the final set in play, the Crusaders took over and won with a final score of 15 to 12. Overall, they won the sets with a 3-2 win for the Crusaders. They secured the first one of the weekend, and then they played against Barton College on Saturday with an overall score of 3-2. This secured the Crusaders' second win of the weekend, and now their second place in the conference. And that's all for this sports update. Now back to you in the studio. For the juniors and seniors on campus, it might be a good time to start thinking about class rings. Jocelyn will be on the Tigerville campus tomorrow, located in the Tingle Student Center from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Stop by the information table to look at the various prices, designs, and packages. If you're not able to stop by, make sure to check your Crusader email for all the information. There are a lot of exciting events coming up on North Greenville's campus this week, starting the return of the Bose-Higson Lecture tonight at 6 p.m. This lecture is held annually in the spring semester, apart from last year due to the pandemic. Along with this, the NGU Theater Department is performing the play The Good Doctor starting this Thursday, and the show will be running through the end of the month. The final event of this week is a concert that will be held in honor of Black History Month on Friday at 7 p.m. in Hamlin Recital Hall. Speaking of entertainment, up next we have a feature story on a set of twins you may have seen on campus. If you've been around North Greenville since last August, You've probably walked by this set of twins on campus. So who are they, you ask? Well, these are the George twins. This is Katie and her twin sister, Kayla. They're in their junior year at North Greenville, with Katie studying psychology and Kayla studying English. But according to the twins, there's more than their majors that help tell them apart. I have longer hair and that she uh -huh. has shorter hair. Um, I have a dimple and she yeah. doesn't. Um, Once someone noticed that Kayla has more piercings than I yeah, do. Yeah, so I have so three more yeah. than she does. If Kayla looks familiar to you, that's because last August she featured in the Freshman Got Talent show. Katie took this video while her twin sister was on stage, who was plucking the Star Spangled Banner for her performance. But what's even more neat is their story of how they got to Tigerville. They both are originally from Michigan, and when they were 16, they moved to Greenville, South Carolina, as their dad got a new position with the company he had worked with for over 20 years. Even though it's their first full year at NGU, it is not their first year of college. The Georgias spent their first two years at Greenville Tech before transferring here in Tigerville last August. But when asked about the reasoning behind the decision to transfer, the Georgias say their parents made that decision for them. Originally, both of us wanted to go to Southern Wesleyan University, um, and we both got scholarships to sing in their choir there. Um, and then after talking to financial aid, our parents were like, that's too much money. We can't send both of you and be like, because we wanted to go debt free. And so um, our parents were like, we can't do that and you be debt free. So regardless of the transition, Katie and Kayla are both happy to be where they are and blessed to continue doing life with the person they've done it with all along. In Tigerville, Graham Lee, Vision TV. I'm pretty sure I've seen them on campus. They look like really cool girls. They actually are. I know them personally, and they're really nice. You should meet them if you get the chance. I definitely should. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to keep up with NGU Vision Media on Facebook and Instagram. Check out thevisionngu.com. I'm Leah Williamson. And I'm Justin Brown. Have a great week, North Greenville.